Hi everyone. Today I would like to say some few words um, about the, the Tibetan journalist who based in, in Washington DC. Uh, first of all, I would like to um, congratulate Ms. Bei Feng, who recently became a president, new president of the Radio Free Asia in Washington DC. So I'm looking forward to see some improvement and uh, <clears throat> under your new leadership. So last few years, uh, Radio Free Asia has been some bias and some bad politics going on in the Tibetan section of Radio Free Asia. <clears throat> um, the reason I came here today, I, as a Tibetan, I'm, I'm very much concerned about these, the radio, the media should be very much, they have a very big role to play and bring a lot unbiased information in the society or in the community. Because the USA government actually found funding these Tibetan section of RFA and the VOA both. <clears throat> because they, uh, why they fund, why the USA government funding to these radios? But they they are responsible. They are responsible for something that they bring at the make a good democracy in the society and the community. So what is Los Singe doing is obstruction of justice. So Tibet the, the Tibetan Supreme Justice has verdict more than one thousand pages recently. And um, <clears throat> is this case 20 actually been going on in, the, in India. So there's a very important issue is going on. And these radio, <clears throat> I, mean, I mean, I would say like uh, the Los Nasinke was in capital, capital area, Washington DC a couple of days ago. And your journalists, RFA, Tibetan you know, RFA, RFA, VOA both failed to cover this issue. So that's, I feel like, what's the point of having these two radio? These two radio shouldn't be like bias and, and censor these issues. When Los Singe was there, they're supposed to go there and ask why they, they couldn't comply to the, to the uh, Tibetan Supreme Justice verdict. <clears throat> so this is the, one of the most important cases. Why I'm saying this, so many Tibetan people in the India, Nepal, and even in Tibet, even in China, they rely on this information. And, and that's why, Ms. Bei Feng, I really want to ask you again, please get into this and investigate, thoroughly investigate for these, what is going on in this Tibetan section of the RFA. And that's why I said last couple, last few years, there has been bias and so many good news, good I mean, information they actually actually censoring. And this is not on a marketing company. They're supposed to be like, like bring out, they should play the good role, important role in the Tibetan democracy system. In, I mean, under the Historic 14 Dalai Lama, we in exile, we Tibetan have a very good democracy system. That's why the U.S. government funding these two radios to bring out this like good information to the Tibetan public. So that it is actually very much is bias, something happening, something something going on. This in bad politics in the <clears throat> in the I would say in the Tibetan uh, section of the RFA. So these radios actually shouldn't be interfere in the Tibetan. Local local politics. They should. They are the journalists. They should be like in the one of the good role. Play the good role. They have the good responsible, big responsible for the one of the most important pillar for the democracy. That's why I I just wanted to express my feeling. So please again, Ms. Bei Feng, <clears throat> again investigate what is going on under your leadership right now so you become you become a new leadership i'm li again looking forward to see some good improvement and um god bless you 
Uh, thank you so much, Ntashidele.